Hi guys, we're out in my garage today. I bought this bottle of hand wash in my local bargain store uh, for 97 pence because I want to do an air jet powered car using the pump mechanism as an air valve. I did one of these quite recently. Uh, but before I actually do it, what I'm going to do is empty the co contents into an old milk bottle and then I'm going to pressure test. I chose this bottle for a couple of reasons. Uh, one reason was it looked to me like the top was the same diameter as the pop bottles that I buy. And I happen to have a pop bottle top there that I've already modified with a air valve in it. So I can use that to do some pressure testing. Because it does seem to fit. I don't know whether that's going to be airtight or not, but we'll find out. OK, I shall connect my foot pump onto there. I'll put the bottle underneath some heavy blankets, or tarpaulins, as I've got here and just keep pumping it and see if I can actually make it burst. Right, I've connected up the bottle to my foot pump. I'll now cover the bottle with some tarpaulins or heavy blankets, whatever you like to call them. Then I'll set up the camera so it can watch the valve on the foot pump and we'll pump and see how far we dare to go. The red needle there I've got pointing to 20 psi uh, just to give you some sort of a reference. It's 20 there, if it goes all the way up to there or if the black needle goes all the way up to there that would be 50. But we'll start at 20 just to give us some idea. in there. Let's have a look at the bottle. That bottle looks quite all right at the moment, just a little bit distended on the bottom. pumps doesn't seem to be able to get more than 60 into it and it's, it's leaking away quite quickly. I don't know whether that's leaking through the pump or leaking through the cap. It's certainly losing pressure. I've no intention of going that high anyway if I use this as a jet car. About 20 or 30 would be plenty. So I think we've tested it to the point that we know we're going to be safe around 20 or 30 psi. In fact, it looks like we'll be safe at 50. And it certainly didn't burst when we got to 60. But I just can't get any more in there. You can probably tell I'm out of breath now. <laughs> I'm not going to get any more into it with this foot pump. OK, we've done the pressure testing. I actually bought two of these bottles with the intention of testing one to destruction and then having the other one to make the car with. But being as I totally failed to burst this bottle, I'll be able to use this one anyway. So the next stage is to take apart the pump and convert it into an air valve. What we need to do is the pump's held in place by a plastic ring here that connects onto the bottom part of the pump 
and I need to lever that off. I could cut it off, but I actually want to use it again, so I need to lever it off with a screwdriver. And to be safe, I should put my gloves on. Ah, well, that worked a lot easier than I expected. Take my glove off again. Right, hopefully you can see there's a ridged top to that white plastic bit that the black plastic bit clipped over. Right, we'll try and do the reassembly in a bit of a close-up mode. First of all, we don't need that bit anymore. We don't need that piece. That was sitting around there. We've cut it off. On this piece there's a seal that needs to be moved to the top side. I've got my hot glue gun switched on because we'll need that in a minute. Need our little glass bead. We need the spring. This was the plunger, and all we're using it for now is to hold that spring in place. And this is the piece that stops that plunger popping out. So we put that back in place. That's why we didn't cut it off, we actually need it. So now it fits in that way up. And you'll see, I don't know if you can see, there's some air holes just there. So we need to fill those air holes with hot glue. And we can do that, I can put some round there put it up in there and then put some more around the outside and hopefully that'll make sure it's a good seal. So hot glue gun ready. Outside just to make sure. So the purpose of this is to fill those air vents. And there we are, that's the finished article. Okay, we'll go for another test run, try and get a bit more pressure in it. I've also tried to adjust the steering a little bit because it keeps going to the left so. Hopefully it'll go a bit more to the right this time, or straighter anyway. That was more impressive, wasn't that? Quick summary, almost exactly the same car as I made last time. It's the same chassis, but it's a different bottle, so I can get a bit more pressure into it. And because I've done a pressure test on it first, I'm more confident pumping the air in. Uh, that last run, I think I had about 40 psi in there, and it went quite impressively. It certainly would have gone much further than the length of my kitchen. 
Um, made some very minor modifications to the car. Put these cross members on it just so that I've got somewhere to hook the rubber bands on to hold this shaped bottle in place. Other than that, it's the same car as last time. So hopefully, um, now that you've been able to watch the pressure testing, uh, you'll have some idea of what sort of pressure you can put into one of these bottles. I would recommend that if you are going to do this sort of thing, you do your own pressure testing and make sure you do it safely. But there we go, another air jet car completed. And thanks again to Thomas Kim for the idea of converting the pump to an air valve.